look up here in my direction. Okay. Now, um, good morning, everybody. Um, I know that you were kind of wondering when this would get started. Um, I just needed some time to set everything up here, and now we're all good. Okay, so, today is the day before Valentine's. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so, um, I'm going to have everybody go home. Um, every, you know, no one will be here at the event in tomorrow because it is Valentine's Day, and I think that, um, you know, because it's Valentine's Day, I think that everybody should get, you know, the opportunity to celebrate and, um, you know, give love to those that they love and care about, and, you know, relationship things. So, um, and that, um, you know, and that does include Jeanette, who will, um, also be, you know, going home to her, um, you know, her mother for Valentine's Day. Um, and that's going to be um, later, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, you know, it's definitely, you know, it's definitely nice to see you again and have you here again with us. So, um, today. So, yesterday we had, you know, the big movie. Um, and you did wonderful for that. And... You know, we got to see a visual for what, you know, your, you know, childhood growing up looked like. Um. Yeah. You know, and I did notice that there were, you know, several scenes that were, you know, cut out, um, from the book, obviously, because, um, it's a movie, you know, you could probably make a, you know, maybe you could make a mini series out of it, I don't know. <laughs> um, I suppose that'll be an idea, but, um, I, you know, I thought that the movie, um, was very, very well done, including, um, you know, just, and it was very heavy, and it was just, you know, it was just a little bit heartbreaking um, for me to watch, um, that family in that, um, you know, in those situations, you know, particularly, you know, particularly you in those situations, and when I say that, I mean um, Jeanette in um, the film, um, you know, in your life, anyway, so, um, I thought that, um, uh, I know that you all enjoyed it, and uh, I know that a lot of you, you know, know her already because she was at my mentor. Um, just when we were finishing up White Fang, you know, she came here way back in January. And, you know, I can recall that you all, you know, asked questions and signed autographs and, you know, Julie asking Will was there and all the other, um, you know, Mentons and Lothambis and Lopez's were there. You know, not all of them, but um, certainly a lot of them. And then there was some, um, and then, you know, and then, you know, the interviews afterward, um, you really, really got to hear, you know, your perspective on it, you know, on the film and everything. Um, so I think that, you know, I don't know what my favorite scene in the movie would be. Um, but it would probably be, um, have to be, like, um, near the beginning of the film, um, you know, when you were really, really young and you were, um, uh, in the desert, uh, camping, um, you know, with the fire. And I just thought that that was a such sweet moment, um, you know, with you and your father, um. And also, I think that, you know, when the car was kind of driving off the road into the desert and kind of, you know, right before that. Um, but overall, uh, the whole film um, was uh, absolutely incredible. Um, and remember that when it comes to waiting, it is all about the stories. 
And I think that reading is one way of, you know, really learning and having a grasp on uh, those stories and seeing other people's perspectives and uh, other people's lives and uh, the hardships that they endured and, you know, went through and came out of. Um, and that's kind of what, you know, your personal memoir is about is, you know, maybe it could be a hardship, but, you know, but how did you change, um, or how did it, um, make you grow, um, and what, you know, emotional, mental scars do you have left behind from that experience? Um, and it's a little bit, you know, tricky, you know, for a lot of people because, uh, you know, I can, you know, tell you honestly that I have not had um, a life like um, Jeanette had. You know, I never had, you know, too many, you know, um, hard experiences um, in my life, you know, if I, you know, there's been, you know, several, but it's not like extreme, extreme, extreme. Um, that's just me. Um, so that's something that I want you to be working on today, um, this afternoon. Um, I'm going to push it till Monday, the very, very end of Monday. So, 11.59 uh, on Monday. Um, so, you know, so definitely, um, you, you, you know, and basically the, you know, the expectations for writing that are very, very general because the rest is you and your imagination and your memory. And you all have different writing styles, so I can't tell you what style of writing you write in. You know, what, you know... Just, you know, there's a, there's probably, you know, there's no, like, specific format. It's just you going through the story. Um, so it's very, very general. Um, so, again, today is February 13th. Um, so I'm going to be talking about this next. Also, I know this seems like I'm pounding down a lot onto you. But, that is the way that this imaging works sometimes, is that there is a lot of things going on. Now, uh, reminder, the thing that uh, you need to be working on, um, you know, you know, from tomorrow through the 16th of February, is what? Yes. Uh, is the storyboard. So by the end of today, your whole cupcake model of the TED Talk. So the cherry, the sprinkles, the frosting, the cake, you know, knowing what those things are. You know, you know, for, you know, your TED Talk as a whole thing, not breaking it down into little aspects like you've been doing when you've been doing the packet. That is... That, that needs to be done by the end of today. And then tomorrow, um, so Sunday through Tuesday is when you're working on your storyboard. So the real structure, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 16 um, boxes in total for you to fill out, and you can structure that. And I will certainly um, be there to help you. Uh, and I know that, um, um, right now, um, Deborah Silverman, uh, I know will be, um, coming, uh, with us also to the headquarters, and she will be helping out as well, um, with, you know, setting things up, and that is where we're going to be going, and I'll tell you what time that's going to be at. Um, so, um, I, we already acknowledged that, um, that you'll be going with us. Um, we've seen the, on um, the movie, um, there's no waiting or anything like that. Um, for Fahrenheit 451, I'll be recording, you know, just me reading the book out loud, the book of all books. 
um, story about a, you know, science fictional, you know, society that, you know, after the, you know, technology got invented, people slip away from, um, reading and it's forbidden by the law and it stands as a grave reminder of, you know, what we're slowly getting out of and what we need to get back into, um, you know, by, you know, we web doing all that, um, so again, uh, I've also talked about these show recommendations. Um, so then, um, oh, and then I also want to talk about this. Um, so one of the things that I, I want you all to watch, and I know that, um, you know, we're probably not going to see it, you know, here and now because we have to get going. Pam Gregory um, released a video on the full moon in Virgo, which is going to be at the end of this month. Um, and, and that's going to actually officially be happening on the 27th of February. So, full moon in Virgo, Pisces, Virgo. Do we, you know, what is the difference between Pisces, Virgo? Now, we're going to talk about that when we get into when the sun moves into the next sun sign. Um, you know, so, let's wait on that a little bit. Um, but that's a whole other, you know, realm and energy and, you know, whole, you know, whole new things that we're going to be getting into. But right now, we're not focused on that. Um, we're focusing on the here and now and up until the 18th of February. So from the, so from the 16th through the 18th, you'll feel kind of the energy start to shift over into the next sign, um, which is Pisces, um, which I know that you have a moon in Pisces. Um, you know, did Douglas Silverman go through your... A needle chart with you. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, seeing if there's anything else um, that I want to talk about. Um. Yeah. So you know, remember that she gets into kind of the build up, kind of the leading up towards when there is a full moon or new moon. So definitely watch that the day, you know, you know, right when she publishes it or after, you know, a new moon or full moon preparing for the next one. So feel yourself as the energy starts to kind of soften when it gets to the new moon and when it builds, when it gets to the full moon, it becomes Harder to sleep, and please tell me that this is still going. Okay. Um, yeah. So, sometimes when I'm doing that, it stops. I don't know why, but I'm keeping an eye on it. Um, so I believe that this is all of the announcements. Um, and I actually want to talk about a couple of, you know, things before we get going. First of all, um... Yesterday, I was kind of doing, um, you know, I was kind of, you know, having like a, you know, doing a monologue, um, a personal monologue, a true monologue of, in a, um, of, well, an autumn day in 2014, what happened, um, where I was, you know, ha you know, I had this wicker chair way back in, uh, 2016, and I really, really thought that I could have left it to need somewhere other than the couch and then the keyboard just to sit. Uh, that way I can just sit and simply, um, you know, just look out at everybody. Um, and we're going to be, you know, we, you know, we might do some, um, um, you know, some activities here, um, you know, while I'm sitting in this chair, um, or, you know, I might have some, you know, people come here and, you know, do a storytelling sometimes. Or, you know, show a personal story with people who come in here. You know, Deborah Silverman can even uh, use this chair to um, 
um, to do such as in here, uh, going over kind of, you know, the elements, which, you know, maybe it's going to be a one for her um, birthday when she's, uh, I'm thinking of, um, I just thought of it right now that she'll be doing, um, and it will still be taking you through the elements, all four elements, and then you'll be, you know, doing exercises where you'll be experiencing and feeling those elements. That's going to be day one. And then day two is going to be all about the zodiac signs. Uh, day three is going to be planets. Okay? And she'll be sitting here and doing that. Uh, and if you want that monologue, I do have it and I will send it out to you, um, you know, for you to listen to and understand me better and your know, personal story. And I think that I do better. I think that, you know, when I'm sitting down and telling a personal story, uh, I think it's easier to do without, you know, a whole lot of people around. That way I can really relax and then really focus and soften on myself. I have a tendency to, you know, you know. So, you know, particularly with this Moon in Pisces, which is all about soft, and, you know, I woke up, um, you know, later this morning, um, like 7, you know, 44, 7, 45 this morning, um, and I think that the Moon really controls the, you know, the motion of the waves and everything, so, um, but then tomorrow the moon is going to shift signs and it's going to move into Aries and it's going to be, you know, a get up and go energy and it's going to be there till the 16th. So you have a moon in Aries, so then Aquarius will planning out the storyboard. So it's probably going to give you the energy to get up and go to really sit down and do that and the drive to sit down and plan out. Okay. Um, and I want to remind you again that after that, the 17th, 18th, and 19th is getting your slides prepped and practicing, practicing, practicing after you do that. And then on February 20th, on February 20th, which is a Saturday, the end of the week, think of it as the end of the week, the end of a season. Well, technically, you know, sun moves into Pisces, but, you know, end of the week, you know, you're going to be going over to, um, we'll then be going Yezimenten, and you're going to be presenting, um, your TED Talks. Sunday, February 21st, I will have a lot of stuff written on the board here, and maybe, just maybe, I can have, um, um, I can have my dad hook a computer up here, and then I can show you some slides, you know, or something online. You know, I'd love to do that, um, you know, to show you, you know, my computer screen and, uh, you know, and certain things on there, um, which will probably be like a, um, you know, then it'll have to be, you know, a virtual meeting. Um, but so it just depends. It'll be, you know, that's coming up. Next week, we don't have to worry about it now. Um, so then I want to move on to the Aquarius songs. Um, today I want to use as a good practice day, you know, for the Aquarius songs. So you can have this afternoon to just kind of go home, work on, um, memoir, all that stuff. And then you're going to come back at, you know... 3.30 uh, in the afternoon, we're going to be working on the Aquarius songs because we really, really need to utilize the time because on the, um, on the 18th, um, actually on the 18th, which is going to be, um, on a Thursday, um, w w well, no, it, uh, uh no. The 19th of February, so, which is, like, cusp day. So, 19th of February, Friday, I think, concerts, you know, should all be on a Friday that, you have the, you know, the week done, you know, the week I'm going to look forward to to rest up for that. Um, 
So, Friday, February 19th, that is the day of the concert. And there would be cer there's certain days in this Aquarius season where, you know, we have missed out on doing songs. Like, the 4th of February, the 26th of January, those types of days. Um, which, um, you know, we really, really need to make the most of the time because there's a lot of songs that we're doing and I probably have to narrow it down a little bit. It's probably narrowed down already, but, um, that's a big focus, you know, for something that we're going to do today. Did I go over everything that we needed to? Okay, then, the very last thing. I had a dream last night that I was in the basement. I was in the basement and um, it was spruced up. Uh, there was like a downstairs toilet in the basement that I was going to, but all of a sudden I looked and I saw a pink wall, like a pink, um, kind of, you know, like a pink, like a peach colored wall with most of that color on the wall, and then almost the very, very bottom of the wall, along the sides, bottom of the wall, there was, um, purple. And then the floors... Did I say purple? I meant brown. Um, and then the floors were all brown. And then I went out the, um, you know, and around me was you know, finger-type, you know, games, like, you know, um, I don't know how to describe them. Um, so then I went out the door, and then I started seeing, you know, still cases. I started seeing a couple living rooms appear, and then I saw a grand piano, a black grand piano in the basement. And of course, it was a dream. And then, all of a sudden, the next thing I know, I stood at a chair, a big chair, and then there was a really, really big movie theater in the bottom of my basement. What a dream come true. Because I don't have a movie theater, though. And I wish that I did have a movie theater. Um, so, that's just something that I just want to tell you about now. Uh, uh, I want to see what time it is. Uh, 10.14. Okay, so, um, this is a little bit delayed. Reminder that we are going to be, um, going over the, you know, ending at, you know, 11.45. So, actually, at 10.25, we are going to get going. Yes, indeed. So, you know, all the expectations, because we've done this, millions of times before you put, you know, your germ killer on, um, you put, you know, you do all the precautions, um, you'll be going in separate buses. So, um, Deborah Silverman is actually, um, you, um, you know, she actually, um, you know, arrived at Olympia Bell Books and Menton this morning, and she got herself onto one of those buses that she will be chaperoning. Um, I will be chaperoning another bus. There's going to be three buses total. And then, to my uh, understanding, you're going to be doing the third one, right? Um, okay. So, um, that's how it is going to work. Okay, then we're all going to meet at the headquarters, okay? Um, we're all going to meet at the headquarters together. We're going to get off, see who's here, see who's not here, which, well, I don't think that, you know, we're going to do actually because it's so darn cold. Uh, we're actually going to do it when we're on the bus so that we don't, you know, don't have to stand out in the cold and we don't have to go through the whole long list of people. Um, so, uh, we're going to get in there. The Edmonton head officials, including the head official, will give you, you know, you'll volunteer for a job to do. There will be, you know, someone there to, 
you know, you know, be the guiding light to kind of, you know, help you out in that area of the building. And you can most certainly, you know, you know, a really, really big thing, you know, really big option is setting up for the Primal Prehistoric Exhibition Grand Opening. Grand Opening. Okay? So, if you want to go do that, then most certainly, most certainly, it's, you know, most certainly, you know, genuinely about helping out anywhere and, you know, doing anything at all. Um, but everybody has to, um, pitch in and every one of those positions has to be filled. Don't worry, she's not going to make you clean toilets or anything. Um, although there's, you know, jobs that are people's preferences, jobs that are others' preferences, um, you can certainly pick a job, um, you know, pick any job that you want to, although all those positions have to be filled and you might do more than one job, so you might need to do this job then might need have to, you know, do this as well. So, I mean, you know, I don't know how it'll go. It will, it will. It just depends. And I, I never went into that, that kind of detail before with you because, um, you know, because I really don't know. You know, I can't tell you. Just, just we'll find out about it when we get there. Um, so, um, yeah, I believe that, um, um, I believe that, um, that is all taken care of, um, and, uh, and then, you know, and then you'll, you know, you'll be going home tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, I just, you know, I was just curious asking, yeah. So, um, I believe that... That is really all um, that I wanted to talk about. Okay, everybody. Now, um, we have to all, you know, get coats on, get, you know, boots on, get uh, everything um, ready to go. I just want to make sure that everybody's here. Yes, everybody is here. Okay, so all of you can go get yourselves ready, and I will do the same. Look at me. Um, and then we will get on there. There will be no waiting line. It, I, well, you know, I, I, I think that it just pulled up. So there will be no waiting line. The doors are opening now. So, um, you have, let's see what time it is. Let's see what time it is. So, um, okay, I, uh, okay, I'm going to delay it a little bit. So, ten, ten. 35. 10.35. That's when we're going to be leaving. So you have 15 minutes to get yourselves ready, dressed, everything like that. And to my understanding, a lot of you are already halfway done. And that's what I told you about. Because I, I just, just the very, very last thing that I um, want to make you all is rush. And, you know, I, you know, I'm you know, I'm saying that because I hate to be rushed in a social situation, getting my clothes on, and, and you know, it's too frantic, and I just cannot, it's just so, just kind of scary to me. So, continue on with that process, you know, wherever you are now, if you're super quickly, then, you know, that's great for you, but I can understand that a lot of you already are prepped. For that, okay, so then, uh, now I want you all to get on to, um, um, um you can all uh, go now, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna release you.